In this series of videos, we will read the Care Certificate Workbooks, both what you need to know and what do you know now. This video covers Standard 10, Safeguarding Adults, What Do You Know Now? And it's over to my colleague to read through this workbook. The Care Certificate, Safeguarding Adults, What Do You Know Now? Standard 10, the Care Certificate Workbook. Activity 10.1a and b. Complete the boxes below to explain the term safeguarding adults and also to explain your own roles and responsibility in safeguarding adults. Explain. To explain something, you will need to provide clear account of your understanding, including details like why and how. Safeguarding adult means my own role and responsibilities are activity 10.1 c and g. Complete the table below to make a list of the 10 main types of abuse and their indicators or signs. List. This term means to identify the main points which can be written as bullet points, types of abuse and possible indicators. Activity 10.1D. Using your own knowledge of the definition of harm, complete the sentence below. The term harm means activity 10.1E and H. Why might an individual who requires care and support be more vulnerable to abuse and neglect than others? Activity 10.1e and h. For each of the examples below, describe why it might may increase the likelihood of an individual experience. Describe. To describe means to create a picture with words, but not simply writing a list of bullet points. Being cared for in their own home. Why might this increase the likelihood of the individual experience abuse or neglect? Being in residential or institutional care. Experiencing a mental health issue. Experiencing difficulties with communication. Activity 10.1F. Complete the boxes below to describe what is meant by restrictive practice and when it might be used. Describe. To describe means to create a picture with words, but not simply writing a list of bullet points. Restrictive practice means it may be used when activity 10.1i complete the diagram to list the factors that are featured in cases of adult abuse and neglect. An example has been provided for you. List this term means to identify the main points which can be written as bullet points. Factors that are featured in cases of adult abuse neglect a failure to identify signs of abuse. Activity 10.1K. As you have only just started your new job, you might be unsure as to what your exact role and responsibilities are in relation to safeguarding adults. Describe where you could get information and advice on your role and responsibilities in safeguarding individuals and preventing abuse or neglect. Describe. To describe means to create a picture of words, but not simply writing a list of bullet points. Source 1, 2, 3 and 4. Activity 10.2a. Care environments can either promote or undermine people's dignity and rights. Provide an example of how a care environment can promote an individual's dignity and rights and an example of how a care environment can undermine an individual's dignity and rights. A care environment that promotes an individual's dignity and rights. A care environment that undermines an individual's dignity and rights. Activity 10.2b and c. You can help keep individuals safe by Explain To explain something, you will need to provide a clear account of your understanding, including details like why and how. You can keep individuals safe by Providing individualised, person-centred concern support Encouraging active participation And promoting choice and rights Explain how to apply the above principles to help individuals to keep themselves safe Person-centred care and support active participation, choice and rights. Activity 10.2D. Find out the local arrangements for implementation of multi-agency adult safeguarding policies and procedures and explain how they link to your workplace policies and procedures for safeguarding adults. Explain. To explain something, you will need to provide a clear account of your understanding, including details like why and how. Activity 10.2E. Fill in the box below to list the ways in which the likelihood of abuse can be reduced by managing risks and focusing on prevention. List. This term means to identify the main points which can be written as bullet points. 
managing risk and focusing on prevention could reduce the likelihood of abuse or neglect in the following ways. Activity 10.2 F. It is very important that com complaints are dealt with as quickly as possible and procedures are easily available to individuals. For example, available in braille or alternative languages or formats. How can a clear complaint procedure reduce the likelihood of abuse or neglect? Activity 10.3 A. Obtain a copy of your workplace policies and procedures on safeguarding and whistleblowing and explain in your own words what you should do when abuse or neglect of an adult is suspected. Include ways in which you are expected to raise concerns through whistleblowing. Explain. To explain something, you will need to provide a clear account of your understanding, including details like why and how. Activity 10.4a. Complete the diagram to list relevant legislation as well as local and national policies and procedures which relate to adult safeguarding. List. This term means to identify the main points and can be written as bullet points. Relevant legislation, policies and procedures. Activity 10.4b. When safeguarding adults is when safeguarding adults it is essential to share information with relevant teams. Explain why it is important to share information with relevant key people and agencies. Explain. To explain something you will need to provide a clear account of your understanding, include details like why and how. Activity ten point four C it is your duty of care to report any suspicions or concerns you might have that an adult is being abused or is suffering from neglect. What could you do if your concerns were not taken seriously or not passed on to other agencies? Describe two options. Describe. To describe means to create a picture with words but not, simple, not simply writing a list of bullet points. Well done on completing the What You Need To Know booklet. We have the next standard in this playlist to support your learning through the full 15 standards. Mm -hmm.